Hey, what is going on, guys? It is Sportyan here. Welcome back to another Rocket League card design episode. And in today's episode, we do have the brand new tournament reward decal subdued. I really want to spit. I really want to say subdued, but I don't think that's it because obviously S U P D U D E. But subdued is the way to go. Nonetheless, I think this is an extremely clean decal. So we do have some pretty clean card designs coming up. Um, so yeah, what do you guys think of this decal? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to use code SPRITAN11 in the item shop. And if you guys have not hit the subscribe button, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below to get up to date on my newest Rocket League videos. So let's get started with the first card design of the episode, which kind of attributes to Psyonix, but also it just happened to match the pattern. Starting off, we do have the sky blue octane for both sides. Now I will say for this orange side, you can use a pink octane, but I will say the sky blue octane does look a little bit better. For the decal for both sides, it is the unpainted subdued. Yes, that is right. This is unpainted, which means there is an automatic third color in this decal, and it looks absolutely fantastic. So starting off, for the blue side, we do have the color as a sky blue with the accent as a dark blue. And then for the prime with the orange side, we have an orange or a pink with the accent as a sky blue. For the wheels, for the orange side, they are the Psyonix wheels. And then for the blue side, there are the Psyonix two wheels. Yes, Psyonix is that good of a company. They needed to make two wheels for them. So I'll shout out Psyonix anytime. Epic Games, watch your back. But anyway, <laughs> so this is the blue side. As you can see, I think the colors look absolutely fantastic. This is a little bit more of the wavy design that I do enjoy. And I think the pattern just looks really good matching that psionics decal um as you can see the automatic third color comes in absolute clutch we have that sky blue as the primary and i gotta say the paint finish that is automatically put is phenomenal obviously you cannot change the paint finish i do not have um the decal just yet so that's why you're able to see my paint finishes but the dark blue as the primary was absolutely fantastic this blue side or this orange side as well this pink and sky blue color combination is amazing with that automatic third color as black it looks absolutely fantastic for the boost we do have the vapor wave unpainted for the orange side which gets the pink and sky blue color combination and then for the blue side we actually do have the shining barrage 2 to kind of match that electricity type style that you can actually see on the Psyonix two wheels so that is pretty cool that's not just coming from the boost that's also coming from the wheels for the trail, we do have the Tachyon 3 unpainted for the blue side. And then for the orange side, it is actually the Synthwave trail that matches so perfectly with the wheels and the boost and the colors of the entire design. So that's why I decided to do the Synthwave trail. So this is the orange side. Again, I really do like this color combination of the pink and sky blue. Cyanic, shout out to you for making some pretty good wheels and some really good color combinations, especially for the blue side as well. We have a sky blue and blue color combination, always a fantastic one. So yeah, that is the first design. Getting into the next car design, we do have the... Now I'm not gonna lie, I just thought this would be clean. Obviously this is a clean decal, so I wanted to do some pretty cleaner designs and I gotta say, this one looks clean. Starting off, we do have the lime octane for the blue side. And then for the orange side, it is the pink octane. You can also choose to do the black octane if you want to make it a little bit more cleaner. But I got to say, I really like the color combination on this orange side. For the decal for both sides, it is the unpainted subdued. And then for the colors for the prime of the blue side is a dark forest green with the accent as lime. Definitely one of my top favorite color combinations. And then for the orange side here, we have a beautiful dark pink with the accent as an even lighter pink. I feel like we never do pink enough, so I felt like we should do a pink in this episode. For the wheels, it is a not very used often wheel, but I think it's really good with this design. We have the Maelstrom, Maelstrom wheels painted pink. I can't even say it. Um, and then for the uh, blue side, it is the Maelstrom painted lime, just lime painted wheels, okay? Um, but yeah, like I said, I feel like these wheels aren't used enough, and I think this is just so clean of a design. We have a beautiful color as that forest green with the accent as lime, and then we kind of just let the design take care of itself. I feel like the movement matches so well, and it's just such a clean and basic design. And then for this orange side here, the pink, Pink is not used enough for me, so I felt like a pink design was well needed here. So we have that primary as the pink, with the accent as a little bit of a lighter pink. But nonetheless, I still think this is just a super clean design. For the boost, we actually have the Phase R painted pink for the orange side. 
and then for the blue side it is the phase r painted lime so very interesting but i do like the way it looks for the trail we have the hacksworth 3 painted lime for the blue side and then for the orange side it is the hacksworth 3 painted pink this is the orange side again i already said pink is uh something that i don't use very often and i think this is a great wheel to showcase this because i think just like i feel such like a relaxation of looking at this like just looking at this design and looking at these wheels like the wheels are so basic they're so clean the decal is so basic and clean there's very little movement that's what i kind of get i just get a sense of like relaxation from this i think it just looks really good so that's why i ultimately decided to do this type of style for this car design i thought it was just really really cool so if you get a sense of relaxation we'll just take a second here anyway getting into the next car design we do have the we couldn't go anywhere without doing the beautiful hypnotic wheels i mean yes do not get me wrong this does give me a sense of relaxation but the hypnotic wheels they hypnotize you you know like just looking at it it hypnotizes you we had to do it so starting off we do have the purple octane for the blue side and then for the orange side we do have the orange octane now i will not lie we've done this car design very many times with many many decals but the reason why i choose these specific car designs over times is because i like the way they look with other decals it's not just one decal um i forget what decal i specifically did this car design with but um i think it looks very very good on this decal so that's why i decided to do it for the decal for both sides it is the unpainted subdued and then for the colors for the prime of the blue side we have a beautiful oh my gosh like this is why i choose to do multiple designs because sometimes it just looks so good on other decals like this paint finish that automatically comes with this car or with this decal phenomenal that's the primary for the blue side and then for the accent we do have a pink here again matching the color combination of the hypnotic wheels and then for the orange side here we have a crimson with the accent as orange again just looking at this thing looks amazing for the wheels for the orange side it is the crimson hypnotic wheels and then for the blue side it is the unpainted hypnotic wheels for the boost we do have the cloudburst 3 painted uh cobalt for the blue side and then for the orange side it is the cloudburst 3 painted crimson for the trail it is the hacksworth 3 painted crimson for the orange side and then for the blue side it is the hacksworth 3 painted purple so this again is the orange side and i just really like the way this decal looks with the hypnotic wheels i mean there's something about this decal that's just so clean and memorizing to look at i mean it's just so amazing and i think the hypnotic wheels are a great wheel for this car as well um same for this blue side here i mean this beautiful bluish purple i think this is the most accurate color that we've seen on these hypnotic wheels to match to go through these wheels so definitely one of my favorites and then same for the accent side here we got that pink that looks just absolutely amazing um i really like this wheels and i really like this car design so getting into the last and final car design of the episode we do have the iziki inverted wheels that's just very interesting to say but i really don't know where these came from but i kind of like them actually with this decal i think it looks pretty good so starting off we do have the cobalt octane for the blue side and then for the orange side we have the crimson octane for the decal for both sides it is the unpainted subdued decal for the colors for the prime of the blue side we do have a, a very dark blue with the accent as a very light blue and then for the prime of the orange side here we have a dark crimson with the accent as a little bit of a you can i mean yeah it's just a normal crimson i was gonna say you can get a little bit brighter but these wheels don't really let you get brighter like they do on the blue side so we just have the accent as a crimson for the wheels for the orange side they are the eziki inverted painted crimson and then for the blue side it is the eziki inverted painted cobalt very funny to say to say the least but the reason why i actually chose this one is because of the colors the way the blue and also um the our accent as that light blue also looks absolutely amazing now it's something about these wheels that i just cannot put the tip of my finger on that it just looks so good with this decal i'm not sure why um but i don't know and then for the orange side here again same thing we have the crimson on crimson color combination and it's just something again about these wheels with this decal that i just like so much for the boost we have the phase r painted crimson for the orange side and then for the blue side it is the cobalt phase r no uh for the trail it is the hacksworth 3 painted blue 
And then for the orange side, it is the Hacksworth 3 Painted Crimson. So yeah, pretty, pretty clean to say the least. I don't know what it is about this car design here, about these wheels that just, I don't know why. I, it just looks really good in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think of this one. This one's very interesting, but it, I can't put the tip of my finger. I don't have anything to describe about it because I just think it looks good like i don't really know i usually have a reason of why i come up with my designs but this one i'm just kind of gonna let the design talk for itself so yeah let me know what you guys thought of this car design let me know what you guys think of this decal i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more i'll see you guys in the next episode